Hello, and welcome to this Creating Analytics in WKO series. This is lesson one, how a chart lives in WKO. All right, let's just jump right into it. We're gonna keep this first couple of uh, lessons very simple. First of all, go back to think about WKO5, right? When you think about all these charts and reports, there is a system to that. So you have charts and reports. A chart or report is a summarized view of information. Viewers can select, edit, build, and chart reports. It's that last part that this series is gonna talk about. Dashboards. A dashboard is a selection of multiple charts and reports grouped together for a purpose, often to offer a well-rounded view of select data or data results. Users can select, edit, and build dashboards. And finally, you have views. Views is a selection of dashboards that are put together typically for some type of holistic view of the athlete or the situation. The reality is this webinar series, and as we talk about um, building dashboards and charts, or building charts and then eventually dashboards, is we're gonna be talking about working at the dashboard level. So when we begin to talk about how or where do I build charts, you wanna do it by having a dashboard open. In most of the operating views, such as WKO Basic for cycling or WKO Basic for running views, you will find there's a dashboard named Whiteboard. The reason we placed Whiteboard in there, it's an excellent place for you to experiment and build charts within it. Okay, let's jump right in the basic ideas of charts, right? When you begin to think about, wow, I wanna build a chart, what you're really saying is I need an analytic. And the three easiest steps, right, to think about is, first I wanna to try to find that analytic. There's a lot of things that have been created. I'd rather have you go look for it. You'd be surprised how many times people have thought of something that you might believe is unique, but they've already done it. So we wanna be able to go search for it and find it. Second, if you can't search for it and find it, maybe there's one similar where you can simply edit to be specifically what you need. Just by changing the expression or some of the elements of the chart, you get what you want. And then finally build, meaning if you cannot find what you want, let's go ahead and build. All right, let's break these three down and look a little deeper on how to. So if you wanna find a chart, it's a pretty simple process, right? You need to click uh, the small down arrow on the right of the dashboard. It's kind of right in there. It's a little hard to see the way it opens up. Then you wanna select add an existing chart and add an existing chart is gonna open the chart library. You then wanna to set to all charts. I mean, you can use chart library or your charts. I just go to all charts cause it's simpler. And then in this search box, right, enter what you're searching for, the topic, mean maximal power MMP, and you can see that'll bring up a bunch of charts with your topic. You can open these. Again, I highly recommend you do this in whiteboard. I probably should have done that as an example, right, in your whiteboard, just so that you can open a couple of different charts, close them, and not have any effect on, you know, the core parts of your view. All right, so let's say you can't find the specific one you want you want to begin to learn to edit. Now, I'm not going to go into the details of editing because that's what the future uh, little lessons are going to be, but the reality is let's talk about how to get there. So with a chart, like you can see, I have a, the training dashboard open here. Here's a chart bar. There's a little down arrow right here, again, hard to see, but it'll pop up this UI. So click the down arrow, then select configure this chart, and this will bring up what we refer to as the chart config box. And the reality is the config box is short for configuration, right? Um, so again, us and our fancy naming, we keep it simple. The config box really is broken down into two parts. One here, which we'll talk about in our next lesson is the chart settings. And then one here, which is the data series and information. And then finally, if you can edit, you wanna build. So how would you build a chart? Well in your dashboard, so notice I move back to the dashboard now, I would click down, little down arrow, I get my UI, I would select create a new chart, it gives me an option of chart types, and let's just for argument's sake say you choose custom, that will launch the config box where you're starting now from scratch. Again, I'm gonna teach, edit, and build in some of the upcoming lessons, I'm just trying to give everybody the idea of how to find these things. Okay. One of the things we want to think about when we're building charts is there's a couple of WKO5 chart factors. Couldn't think of a better word. 
and they are level where you have actually the athlete level workout and segment it's not really level but when you're building a chart some charts are very specific to the athlete, meaning I'm looking at the cumulative athlete data, the big picture, how was their training over time, versus a workout or a segment, which is I'm looking at today's workout or segment, right? <laughs> I'm looking at a very specific point in the athlete. I just want to review the workout. And then finally, you have how time ranges affect. You want to decide if your chart, if you're looking at a control or a fixed time frame, which I'm going to give a quick example here in a minute, and then how does it treat time? Do you want a summary or do you want it over time? So let's take a look at that. So when we start talking about WKO, uh, about the chart levels in WKO, right? This is the athlete level view as we typically refer to because we do not, it's toggled off. There's no workout or segment opened. And the data you're looking at here from your view and your individual dashboards is a summary of the athlete data, right? Now, look at time ranges. This time range is selected as last 90 days. Now, what do I mean by controllable or fixed? So most of the reports in charts and dashboards are on a controllable um, time range, meaning they're going to respond to whatever time range I select in the right hand explorer. So the data will update and refresh. Occasionally you see fixed charts. And a fixed chart means you've used an athlete or a workout range function to say no matter what the right hand explorer says, what the time range selected says, it overrides that selection and only shows you the data you built into the chart. I'll get into that when we build charts in the future, but just know sometimes if like, wow, my chart doesn't seem to be responding, I downloaded something from Facebook, it's not responding to my right hand explorer, that simply could be because it is, um, has an expression that overrides the time, it is a fixed time report. And then finally, my point was the summary of time or overtime. So here's a mean maximal power curve, right, of all the last 90 days. So that's over time. That's a summary of over time. It's compiling all the time over data. Here is a mean maximal power by weeks where it's showing over time, meaning I'm seeing the data here weekly. You could do it daily, monthly, whatever. But during the 90 days, I'm seeing each week's worth of data up here where I'm seeing the summarized of 90 days data. So just understanding, you know, level and time range is really important. Same reality happens when you drill into a workout or a segment. I'm only going to demo workout because they're the same thing with a segment. You see certain data charts um, that are subject to the time range selected on the right. And you could have a summary uh, of time, meaning a quadrant analysis. I don't know why I picked this one, but it is a summary of time. Or you can see the same data summary over time. This is their uh, quadrant three building over time, right? So again, you have those same options as part of the factors. And it's something you think about, it helps when you look at a chart, but as you begin to build and customize your own analytics, thinking those things out in advance will really save you a lot of time and effort. Thank you, and the next lesson will be lesson two, chart settings.